today we have Back to the Future for the NES. You're Marty McFly, just a typical senior at Hill Valley High, but after getting behind the wheel of a nuclear-powered sports car turned time machine, you'll find yourself in the year 1955. It does say Marty McFly, you know. Because I was going to say, because he's not actually dressed with the uh, classic Michael J. Fox outfit. Maybe it's Eric Stoltz, but I guess it can't be since Marty McFly is literally on the cover. Do you think Michael J. Fox ever got a paycheck for the NES game? I'd like to know. Is there any way we can find that out? Any of you guys that know Michael J. Fox... Send him a little message and ask him. I'd like, I'd like to know if he ever got paid for the Back to the Future NES game. All right, let's get this started. Back to the Future was the first movie that I ever actually saw in the movie theater. Believe it or not. Because I am that old. So I might be doing some resetting in this. We'll see what happens. It makes you wonder if, if, like, they were planning on doing some kind of a bowling scene in the movie, because there's, like, all the bowling balls. Back to the bullshit. Back to the bullshit, exactly. You've always been oddly interested in this game? Well, that's because it's, it's Back to the Future. Why would you not be? Brace for the repetitive music. Even more repetitive than... The Godzilla music on NES is the Back to the Future music. It's even even worse. I think the music literally doesn't change in this game, where Godzilla actually, if you get a few stages in, it actually does start to change. It takes forever because the stages are so long, but this, I think it just doesn't ever change. Unless you're on a bonus stage or something. And with that, I don't even know that there is music. I think it's just silent, so. So we'll see. All right, we can get on the skateboard. Eric Stoltz gets on the skateboard, and here he goes. See, and the bowling pins, too. Miami Cola sub. Thank you very much, Miami Cola, for the sub. So in this game, you have to collect clocks so that your picture on the bottom doesn't run out. Guess that's uh, Marty and his brother and sister. And you make it down the street to different locations like the cafe, uh, the school and the dance and gotta make it all the way to the time machine at the end nuts actual nuts actual <laughs> give the subs to perp and gold and Kokelion. thank you guys carl edge sub tier one thank you carl edge and also opie 20 j this is heavy great scott make like a tree and get out of here I can just do quotes the whole the whole stream. I can just do that. Back to the Future is one series. I will say they haven't they haven't screwed up Back to the Future yet. I hope it never happens. I hope they just leave it alone. I know they made the game, but I'm I'm fine with the game. That fourth one. Skagway subbed. Menor. I hate Menor. I think he took that guy's wallet. Damn. Damn, damn. What 
is a gigawatt anyway. What is the picture on my shirt? Says Andy. Roger Rabbit and the gang. <laughs> yes. What do the clocks give you? Uh, the picture back so that you don't die, I guess. All right, here we go. This is the hard part. This is if I don't if I fuck this up, I'll probably have to reset. This is actually one of the hardest parts of the entire game right here. Comes early. No music on this part. It's very serious. Make like a tree and get out of here. McFly! Anybody home? Okay, Biff. <laughs> One secret I can say is, see how she just dropped off that drink? That's actually a special move that you can do when you get yourself in trouble here. By hitting the other button, you can kill everybody on screen. It's like an oh shit maneuver. And I think I have enough. If you get more than 50, you're good. Now I got two of those. I'm doing pretty good here. Doing pretty good. I'm assuming that if you get a certain amount of... Here, I just used it there. See? That was my oh shit move. I have one more of them. 69, bro. 69, dude. <clears throat> he said 69. Whoa. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, you motherfuckers. You have to get 50. Looks like I'm doing pretty darn well here. If I don't say so myself. Fuck you. 99! What the hell? This is why you guys subscribe to me. That's talent right there. <laughs> What the hell is a gigawatt? JSB, thank you very much for the bits. And Magic uh, Magic Ninja, thank you for those bits. Oh, we just got a bunch of gift sub donations that went out to Prom Zero, Rerun 6488, Tugboat, Chic Tugboat, Cecil Kane 8, and Namus Davidson. If you guys got a gift sub from No Ordinary Jeff. Let them know you appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you, No Air Ordinary Jeff. <laughs> Do Back to the Future on PC or Xbox? One of these days. One of these days. Probably will. I did actually play the, that uh, that Ghostbusters game one time. I didn't I didn't finish it, but I played. I did a stream of that once. Shit, the the newer one. Uh-oh, now I'm on foot. Now I'm in trouble. I'm never gonna do that good again on the cafe. I was, uh, by the way, can we, I just point out, I'd like to point out that I got uh, 99 on that cafe stage. Thank you very much. <laughs> You'll never see that again. So enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed it. Do, 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 do. Have I beaten Battletoads with no deaths? Not no deaths, but I did uh, I did it without using a continue. Brian 80s. Do, 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 do. I did uh, Silver Surfer with... I only died twice. I could I think I can think I could probably do that deathless. Probably. 
Probably. Maybe, perhaps. How do you like this music? Pretty great, huh? Where does he keep all those bowling balls? Do I consider Do I consider PS2 retro? Yeah, at, at this point, it's 2021. Yes, I do. Dante, thank you for subbing tier one. PS3, I would say no. I wonder at what point I'll consider PS3 retro. I can't imagine ever considering PS3 retro. Um, eventually, maybe in like another, geez, I don't know. Do I have to be, that's what we usually say in the chat. It's gotta be 20 years old. So when did PS3 come out? Like, I'm gonna guess around 2000, Six or something? That would be my guess when that came out. Probably around the time of the Wii, right? I think. PS1 is retro still. Well, PS1 definitely. PS2 is a new wave retro. I like that. I like that term. We should keep that. Just joined Wii Playing Back to the Future on NES. That's what we're doing. That is the that is the stream. We'll see how far we get. I did quite well on the cafe. I was happy about that, so Let's see how the rest of this goes. You're gonna change your name to New Wave Retro instead of New Wave Junkie? Better get on it, somebody's just gonna steal it. Hill Valley High, break Lorraine's heart. All right, let's see if I can do this now. Throws hearts at me. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Back in time. Calvin Klein. I never saw purple underwear before, Calvin. You're my ma. You're my ma. You took quite a bump on the head, didn't ya? There we go, 99 again, boom! Thank you, Brembo Baggins, for the sub. This is your favorite scene in Back to the Future. Oh, when she's in the classroom throwing Valentine cards at it. Marty. Yeah. <laughs> he should have banged his mom. Says Benny. Is that what you think? Getting kaboom vibes yet? That was horizontal kaboom. Let's do this. Let's do it up. Pretty good start, I'll say. Let's not get cocky, though. Now, is that supposed to be Biff? I have to assume those are basically a bunch of bunch of Biffs. Biff and his gang. It's what you, it's what you get. Biff and his bullies. What controller am I using? This so I'm using this controller. It's called it's called the NES controller. It's for the uh, Nintendo Entertainment System. <laughs> I 
Why, did you think I was using like a NES Max or something? I don't, so I don't really uh, like the NES Max. I don't, I actually, I don't like the dog bone either. Um, I just like the regular NES controller. That's it. Whenever, whenever I'm playing NES games, I use the regular controller. Never, never cared for the other ones. You call it the brick? <laughs> Thank you, Death by Moogle, for the sub. Thanks to all these subs. Thank you, guys. You never played the Japanese version on Super Famicom? You're, you're asking if I never played it? Yeah, I've played it. I played it on stream. Uh, I don't really like it that much. The, the music's great. The graphics are great. Um, but the gameplay is not very good, uh, unfortunately. I don't think. Unfortunately. I wish it was. It's very, it's close. It's close. But, uh, I don't know. I don't really, I don't really care for the gameplay, unfortunately. It's like some sort of bullet hell vibes with this game a little bit from time to time. Whoa, hey! Thank God I got all these bowling balls. Do, 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 do. You can't believe how comfortable the original NES controller is for practically for being a brick. Yeah, oh, for being like a, yeah. I can see people not liking it. I mean, I do like how the Super Nintendo controller is more curved, you know, shaped to your hands or whatever, but I don't know. I'm just used to the NES controller, so it's fine. I also really like the PC Engine controller. It's really good. It's another one up there on my list. Shit. Fucking bugs. That's not good. And the uh, PlayStation controller. Whoa. I need another bowling ball. There it is. Whoa. Thank God. Oh, no. It's starting to fall apart here. Fuck these bugs. Fuck them. Fuck them. Give me another bowling ball. Q. Whoa. Fuck you, Biff. Fuck you, Biff. All right. I lost several lives there, so that's not good. Not good, not good. Hopefully, if I can get an extra life. What about Cyberpunk? All right, oh, here's the dance, all right. Let's see if I can do this. B flat, sharp, B flat, B flat, Johnny be good. Go, 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 Johnny, go. Go, Johnny, go. Johnny, be good. So the bees, you go low. The sharps, you go high. That's about it. Do, 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 do. Good job, Marty. Almost there. Great Scott. I think I have like four lives left. Hopefully I can make this. If I could get like one more extra life, this part's gonna get harder. Oh, I have six lives. Okay, I should be able to do it. Let's not get penisy though. Oh, fucking skateboards right there. Come on. I gotta get that bowling ball back. That's the problem. 
Oh my god. Oh shit, 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 shit. It's gonna be jumping more, I don't know. Oh no. See, I lost my fucking bowling ball. See, we make fun of the bowling ball, but like, if you don't have it, you're pretty fucked. There it is. Oh, that was an extra. Oh, did I just run out of time or something? Fuck. But I got an extra life though, right? Or wait, I still have six guys? Nah, I'm so confused right now. Didn't I die a couple times? I thought I had like three lives left. Well, that's good. I think I was not collecting enough clocks. That's what also was going on. Probably because I kept getting hit by the bugs. Too. Oh, oh crap. I missed it. Oh! Alright, motherfuckers. Get to the end of this. Go! Whew. Getting harder now. This part of the game is kind of hard. That trip off the curb? I don't know what happened. You do not die when you take a hit in the street. You only die on the street levels if you run out of time. Oh, really? This is just... So I didn't lose any lives there, huh? Ah, so only running out of time kills you? I did not know that. Well, that makes it... A little bit more forgiving. Uh oh. Oh my god, did you see that? <laughs> Sounds just like the Huey Lewis song, doesn't it? It's the power of love. You only lost the time it took to get back up? Okay. I didn't realize that. Thank you. Hope I finish Shatterhand someday. So do I. <laughs> so do I. I think if I get enough points, probably like every what, like 50,000 or 100,000 or something, gives you an extra life. I think when I hit 100, I got it. People paid 40 bucks for this. Uh, is there a price tag on this? I don't think there is. You're the only one that doesn't hate the music in this game? I think you might be. It'd be f it, this music would be fine for like one stage, but like, they really needed, uh, they needed to license out, fuck. Oh shit. Oh boy, oh, oh no. Um. They would have licensed out the damn. They licensed out the game. I guess the music was different. They couldn't. They couldn't do it. Damn it. Like it says Back to the Fucking Future on it. You think we could like actually get the music? And then they got it later for like the Super Famicom game. So I don't know. Apparently it's a sped up power of love. I don't hear it. 
maybe the license ran out temp temporarily. Maybe. Oh shit, this is it. All right, hold up. Pfft. Well, this happened quick. <laughs> do I get to do it again? Tell me I get to do it again. Oh my god, you only get one chance? I had fucking six lives. Dude. I had six lives. Okay, that's bullshit. I didn't know that. What happened to the six fucking lives that I had? Okay, well that is some, that is some horse shit. Tough luck, Mike, guess you're stuck. Fuck you. Uh, that's bullshit, I have six lives. What's like, What's the point of even having extra lives then? Nothing. The game's like, hey, hey Mike, fuck you and your six lives. We, I don't care. So as long as you make it, it doesn't even fucking matter. Fuck, like, fuck the extra lives, just make it there, because you're only gonna get one shot at the fucking ending anyway. Dude, that's some, that is some fucking horse shit. You know what they should have done? Like, if they would have sent me back to the beginning of, like, where the dance is, that maybe I can understand. But, like, you just game over? Holy shit. I had no idea it was like that. That is big time bullshit. Well, looks like there needs to be a Back to the Future Revisited Revisited. Re 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 revisited. Re 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 re. I hate Menor. This game should be in Menor. That is I can't believe that. I never, by the way, so I never knew that it would happen until right now. Had no idea that was like that. All these years, there's, there's, there's another bullshit thing. That's a major bullshit thing, by the way. Wow. I mean, I, could, I can see being punished. They could make it like Ninja Gaiden, you know? Where it's like you die on the last guy and, and then they send you back to like the beginning, like where the dance is or something. Or maybe even have, maybe to the school if you really want to do that. But like, total game over for that? Like, fuck that. Especially when you have six fucking lives. Dude. That is supreme level bullshit you know when we talk about NES bullshit there that's it that is it I mean that's the worst thing about the fucking game actually fuck okay I might as well just keep going since the lives don't fucking matter Dude, I'm like pissed about this. I mean, the other stuff is like, I think line, lining up the uh, shots on the cafe and stuff, that can be a little bullshitty, the, the, like the way that it's done. Um, I'm like not terrible at it, but most people when they play this game get to the cafe and die and then turn the fucking game off. People that are uh, sane do that. And then there's people that keep playing it. 
when really he ought to just turn it off. But can't do that. Can't do that. Mm -mm. That's not how it works here. That's not how it works here. Not in my world. Not in my world. In my world, we put up with the bullshit and we power through it. That's the, you get the power of love? Well, this is the, the power of shit, perhaps? Ha, 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 ha. Laughing, joking, I'm nuts. <laughs> Will I do Back to the Future 2 and 3 on NES? Uh, not today, but, um, I'm sure, probably at some point, I'll probably fucking end up doing it. But not, not today. Not today. I have to even find where that cartridge is. I haven't seen that around in a while. I got, I got it somewhere. I have to look through my games. I mean, I could put it on the EverDrive, too, but I don't know. I don't, I don't want to play that today. Some someday when I'm in the mood, I see I have to be like in the mood for that shit. It's like usually like I wouldn't want to play Godzilla, but the other day I was like, you know what? I'm gonna fucking play Godzilla, even though I don't really like that game. I have to be like in a specific mood for specific bad games. I don't know. I'm weird. I'm a little weird like that. All right, so you have to make it to at least 50 here. Oh shit! Great. His little thing that he fucking threw hit me. I'm pretty sure I have to do it again. Right? Or, do I, or can I keep going? No, yeah, they threw it out. Alright. I got it fucking... See, they put me back. See how that works right there? That's fine, actually. I'm actually fine with that. Fuck. You know what? I'm just gonna start over. Um... I'm fine with how that works. It's the end of the game. The end of the game should work the same way the cafe works. Bullshit. Bullshit, 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 bullshit. In the mood for a little self-torture. When am I not in the mood for some self-torture? When am I not? Once, sometimes I play good games. Once in a while. <laughs> Once in a while. <laughs> but even even with the good games, I end up like kind of torturing myself sometimes. <laughs> you know. <laughs> let's do Batman on NES, but let's do it deathless or hitless or whatever. It's like, why? Why do I gotta do this shit to myself? <laughs> Oh, fucking, no. No! I know I don't need the lives, but on level one, I'm just not having, not having it. God damn it, god damn it. This should be over, this should have been over already. Now I'm angry. That was, oh my god, I'm so fucking upset about that. Sorry, I'm gonna be talking about it the whole fucking stream now. I'm pissed off I am, I'm not gonna be able to get over that. Mike's getting pissed. I am. Kind of, yeah. I mean, don't I have a right to be pissed a little bit? I went through the entire game. I got to the end. I had six fucking... Motherfucker! I had six fucking lives left. And then they send me back. To the... No, they don't even submit. No, 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 they don't send you back. They start the whole fucking game over. They like, fuck you. Being pissed is valid. Thank you. I, I would say it's fucking valid. What type of LJN shit piss is it? It is LJN shit piss, man. Oh, 
you know what else I gotta do? I gotta do Beetlejuice. How have I not done Beetlejuice? We gotta do Beetlejuice. I'm gonna do Beetlejuice one of these days. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Bum, bum, bum. like the picture disappearing on the bottom but like is collecting clocks like really I mean I guess what else would it be I don't know it's just really the bowling balls they needed a projectile for him I mean bowling balls it, it makes you think like bowling 1950s like I kind of get it but like isn't there something better they could have done than a bowling ball? I'm trying to think of something from the movie that they could have used as a projectile that would have been better for this for this style of gameplay, doing what they're doing here. At least you keep the skateboard. Yeah, skateboard's fine. Horse shit. <laughs> yeah, manure. That'd be funny if he was throwing shit the whole time. The guitar pick. See, that wouldn't like hurt somebody though. I'm trying to think, like, I don't know. I mean, they couldn't have made it. They couldn't have made him throwing shit. I don't think that would have went over well in the '80s with parents. Oh, what's he? What's he throwing there on the box cover? Uh, he's throwing uh, balls of shit, mom. Balls of shit. You can't have that game. Why not, Mom? I saw the movie. It's just horse shit. Everybody shits. Right, Mom? You shit, don't you, Mom? Well, yes, honey. We, we, all, we, all, we all do our business, but, you know. I have my BM every day at 9, 9 a.m., actually, on the dot. But I just don't think it's appropriate. What if your father saw that? He can throw soda cans. That might be Frisbee. Somebody said Frisbee. How about that's, that's better. It should be Frisbees. I like that better. Coke bottles, Frisbees. I think that's better. Or like, um, doesn't he have like a fucking Pepsi bottle? At one point, he's like, how about a Pepsi, you know? It should be a fuck, it should be like a soda bottle or a Frisbee. That would be better than a bowling ball. Because there's no, there's no bowling mention in the movie, as far as I, I remember. So that that's my main, that's like one of my big problems with it. You look at the shirt he has on here though. He wears that shirt actually. Fuck. Seriously. I'm just gonna keep going. He wears that shirt though. At at one point in the movie, that like red shirt. That's fine too. They just needed that put that fucking they needed to put him in the jeans and a like like he looks on the cover of the fucking box. Just put him in a fucking life preserver. If they would have just colored him orange. You know? Anybody ever hack this to make him look the right way? Fucking now I can't, like, play the game. I had a great, I had a great, like, start. Made it all the way to the end. I had, like, no problem. 
And now, oh my god. Now I can't even fucking do this. <sighs> There's bowling in Teen Wolf. Yeah, but that's another that's another fucking movie. Yeah, the red shirt with a giant collar. The cartoon involved them battling a different Biff Tannen every time they went to a different time period. Yes, but this is also is not ba this is not Back to the Future the animated series. I'm, look at the cover. It's the it's the first it's the original movie. It's the game of the original movie. You know. Don't you know? It's kind of wild that they even made this. How about like Caddyshack for NES? What what other mo movie like? There's could there be you know Back to by the way Back to the Future came out in 19. 85. Where's Pee Wee's Big Adventure for NES, by the way? Also came out in 1985. Pee Wee didn't have his trouble until, like, what, 1990 or whatever? So, like, there totally could have been a Pee Wee's Big Adventure NES game. I don't understand why there wasn't one. There's a lot of things that could have been made that were not made. Also, but also, by the way, I just like to point out Thundercats. By the way, was also from 1985. This movie's from 1985. Where the fuck is the Thundercats NES game? That people say like, oh, Thundercats was too early. Thundercats was not too fucking early. This is Back to the Fucking Future. 1985. Where's the Thundercats NES game? Where is it? Where's the Transformers? G1 cartoon NES game. Where's that? I know there was the Famicom game, but fuck, that doesn't fucking count for anything. Fuck that shit. Denver the Dinosaur. That's right. Where's that? Where's the He-Man game? That The Thundercats intro animation was amazing. It was. Charles in Charge. Yeah, where's Charles in Charge for NES? Where's Perfect Strangers on NES? There's a lot of things that didn't get made. Back to the Future, we got the, we got a game. So th this makes you feel like, you know, that all all your favorite franchises should have got something. But there's a lot of things that didn't get shit. Why not? GI Joe got a game. GI Joe got a good game. GI Joe gets one good game and one kind of crappy game. But He-Man gets nothing? The hell is that? Where's Cheers for NES? Where's Family Matters? Where's Where's the fucking Urkel game? You're telling me that if there wasn't an Urkel game, we would have all bought the Urkel game. Everybody would have had the Urkel game. Y you know, like, how much money they missed out on? But not having... Urkel. Even the game could have sucked. It could have been the biggest piece of shit. It doesn't even matter. Just put anything. Sprite swap something else out and make it Urkel. Like, why would they not have done that? How fucking stupid is that? And by the way, like, Urkel and, like, we used to, like, play video games on, like, fucking Family Matters and shit. Makes no sense. Where's the fucking Urkel game? Where is it? <laughs> Thank you, FM Remix, for the tier one sub. All right, Luke's <laughs> Cafe. Urkel was everywhere. Urkel was everywhere. Urkel's the best. Urkel's the goddamn best. Don't you forget it. Don't you forget about Urkel. Everybody, hike up your pants. It's time to do the Urkel dance. Think I can actually do this right this time? 
Okay, I made it. And this is now just like for extra score. Oh, fuck. I was gonna hit the, I tried to hit the button. <sighs> All right. I think I might've hit it by accident, actually. Thank you, Waylandy Xenomorph. Appreciate that. Every single one of these games Mike wants would have been an LGN side-scrolling platformer. Probably, but hey, you know, what if what if Sunsoft Sunsoft got the license for maybe one of them though? Even if they were all LJN. I think so somebody should go back now. All those kind of franchises that we didn't get, somebody should go back now and make them now. Like these pe people that like to mod shit, mod games and all that. Do fan games and all that. Start, start making them. Make all the games that we'd never got. Somebody make the Urkel game. Somebody make the Transformers G1 game. Somebody make the He-Man game. All those things. All that shit we never got. And I know somebody did like a mod of uh, like a sprite swap of Kung Fu and made it like He-Man characters and stuff like that, but no, I mean like full games. Calling all modders, that's right. We don't, but we don't need any more Castlevania hacks. We don't need any more Mega Man hacks. They're uh, like, or at least take a break. Take a break from the Mega Man hacks for like five years. And let's get some of these other things made. We, we got enough to hold us over with Mega Man and Castlevania and Mario. There's so many goddamn Mario hacks. I get it, I like Mario too. Mario's great, but like, let's do something else. Come on. Seriously. Like how many fucking Mario hacks can, can you have? They're great, and I love them. I love Mario hacks. They're fun. I play them, but there's a hundred million of them. No, no, like nobody can even play all of them. There's so many. Voltron. That would be another good one. Yes. Mr. Belvedere's Punch Out. Motherfucker, now we're not gonna have the bowling ball. Now I'm not gonna have the bowling ball! That's all right. That's all right. Alright, I guess I just got a extra life, perhaps, is what that was. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Whoa! Nice shooting, Tex. Hey, hey! <laughs> Boom! Andy Griffith Show for NES. I mean, listen, how about Three's Company? I'd like to see a Three's Company game. Brady Bunch? Sure. Let's just do all of them. But like the the really big ones that didn't get done, like He-Man, um, Transformers. I feel like like a good G1 Transformers and a good He-Man game for NES. I feel like those are the really big ones that didn't happen. Golden Girls game.
there's there's probably shit. There's probably some something else too that's like a big franchise that didn't get done. Ah oh, shit. Happy days. Yeah. The uh, Fon Fonzie for NES. your nose with a rubber hose. Hey, welcome back, Cotter. Were we talking about Welcome Back, Cotter? What was that? Remember, remember that stream was a few weeks ago? Something about Welcome Back, Cotter? I don't remember what it was. Somebody maybe will remember. Does Transformers Devastation count as a G1 game? Um, yeah. I, 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 yes. Here, hang on. Like, if that's not G1 Transformers, I don't know what it is. Yeah. They made that very authentic to the 80s cartoon. Too bad it never got a sequel, though, that, like, included more, like, shit from the movie. That would have been... Fucking awesome. I mean, hopefully, I mean, maybe that's something that can still happen. I don't know. It, like, they got platinum games together with that license again. But that I feel like that would be the obvious, like, follow up to Transformers Devastation is to do something more uh, themed to the 86 movie. That would have been fucking cool as shit. That game was so fun. Yeah. All right. That, see, that's a lot easier than the uh, cafe. Bum, 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 bottom. The love boat. Dinosaurs video game. Sure, could have been one. Why does Hill Valley have such an insect problem? I don't remember so many fucking bees. Fuck! Thundercats, Silverhawks, Visionaries, Dinosaurs, Galaxy Rangers, Jason the Wheel Warriors, Thundar the Barbarian. Space Ghost! I want a Space Ghost NES game. Come on. Come on! Come on! Also, by the way, I think Roger Rabbit could add a secondary NES game. One that was like more of just like a side scroller or something. Cause that Roger Rabbit game, I'm one of the few people that kind of likes that game, other than the Judge Doom part. But like, there should have been like just a more of a normal Roger Rabbit game. Cause m most people don't like that game, and I can understand why. It's a weird fucking game. It's a very weird game. Speaking of Roger Rabbit, hey. <laughs> Fritz the Cat, Big Trouble in Little China. Big Trouble in Little China got a Commodore 64 game, actually. Said that at the same time as Super Genius in my chat. Super Genius! When Wiley e. Coyote starts speaking. Is this the best NES soundtrack? Uh, it's right up there with God the Godzilla music. That's hard to beat. 
the best NES music. Uh, how about how about the soundtrack on uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle for NES? That's a great soundtrack. Fuck. Look at, oh, look at all these fucking bugs. Come on. Eat my shit. Eat my shit. Manor. I hate Manor. Mr. Magoo for NES. The Crazy Castle games and their history. Yeah. I wish there was more good quality hacks or mods of the Crazy Castle games where they added in more of the Looney Tunes characters. Can somebody please do that? Somebody did do uh, Bugs Bunny's Ultimate Crazy Castle, uh, to be fair, but I don't think it adds in more Looney Tunes characters. I want a Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle game that's similar to the NES game with all different levels, but they throw in like all of the characters from old Looney Tunes cartoons. Because when you play Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle, it's only got like a couple characters in there. It's like missing a lot that could have been done. But I, I, I really like the Crazy Castle game, the first one. So it's a, it's a good game. I feel like more could be done with it. And then later on, they, ma they made all these other sequels, but damn it, I didn't get that. But the sequels I, are, aren't like, are, are like weird. I don't really like the sequels as much. It's really that first game that I feel like they did a good job with. Like, I don't really like the, like the Game Boy games and the whatever. All those handheld ones aren't, aren't as good. In my opinion. Fucking trash can. Oh my god. That's a death. All right, well, I died there. We've got to get you back to the future. Doc, you didn't have to say the name of the movie. I think it's the third one where he says that, right? Oh, fucking trash cans! Come on with this shit! Pissing me off! I'll probably make it all the way there and then the fucking DeLorean won't hit the fucking 88 miles per hour anyway and send me all the way back. Sorry, Marty, you're stuck forever. We'll never figure out another way. I developed time travel, but I'll never think of a way to be able to send you into the future. How about this? I have an idea. Why doesn't he build the fucking time machine? And then go get some fucking DeLorean, go get some fucking plutonium and then send them back. If the if the if the street the lightning bolt idea doesn't work, spend the next six months building the fucking time machine. How about that's Plan B? You ever think of that, Doc? Just build the fucking time machine. Just build a time machine. No big deal. Shit, fuck.
There you go. Jeez. But uh, da, 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 da. at least the music changed. They had to have music on that part. They didn't have a choice. Go, go. I mean, I mean, Magic Ninja. What more can I do? <laughs> Be like. See, she probably watches like people like uh, dancing or something. Who are the people on the picture? Marty and his brother and sister. Fuck! Laid back. Mother fuck. Somebody, somebody in the chat just said I'm a very laid back streamer. You know, they call me the uh, the Bob Ross of, of video games. Because I'm so laid back. Actually. That's right. That's me. Shit, so the time's going faster too or some shit so there's clocks so wait a second wait 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 a second hold up hold up we gotta talk about something that i'm just realizing right now hold up so there's the time and then there's the clocks so the clocks are for the picture i believe you collect the clock so that the picture doesn't disappear. But then there's also time. So the clock and time are two different things. Go two different forms of time are going on here. This is... God forbid they make this game have, have to do with confusing time-related things. It's only Back to the Future. You son of a bitch thing! I feel so. I think when I get hit, fuck! By a bee! I think it's making the time go quicker, and then I can't make it to the end. See, I'm not gonna make it again. I'm not gonna make it! But that runs out of time. That's not kill- I don't know if that's killing me. Because it's not the picture running out. It's the time running out. This is confusing. This is really confusing. I actually don't understand. I don't. I actually do not even understand it. 
Which one actually fucking kills you? What the hell happened right there? I think I just tripped over the planner. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Damn! Ah! Uh, get away! See, you can't ever lose that bowling ball. You lose that bowling ball, it's... You're fucked! Motherfucker. Where even am I at this point? I don't even know. Oh, you know why? This is so hard. This is near the end of the game, right? Go. End it. Aren't I, like, near the end here? That's why it's hard. Yeah, I'm, like, pretty close. No wonder it's difficult now. Jesus. Everything kills you. Wait. Oh, this looks interesting. The timer specifically. Time does not pause when you get hit, so you lose about 10 seconds per hit. Oh, when I get hit, I lose 10 seconds? Okay. So they punish you by taking time away, which has nothing to do- FUCK YOU! Which has nothing to do with the clocks! Another 10 seconds gone. Come on! Come on! Why is this so much harder than the first time? I went through this game the first time, it was like a fucking breeze. Go Later on, go back and watch the beginning of the stream, please. I got through the whole game, I got to the DeLorean, the whole thing. Wasn't a problem. Second playthrough? It's a fucking shit show, man. Now it's like I can't do anything. What happened? Like, what the hell? Oh, oh, oh! What? Sound like monkey in again. <laughs> There's monkey. We do need a monkey in emote. Good old monkey in. <laughs> Give me the bowling ball! And throw it at Biff's fucking face! You want the ball? Well, go get it! He throws them on top of the fucking. Fuck! I better. Oh, I hate losing the bowling ball! Man, dude, these fucking bugs. <laughs> this is the worst. I'm not gonna have enough time again. No, no! There it is, there it is, there it is. Kill him! Don't, don't run out of time! Don't run out of time! Don't! Uh, not like the lives matter anyway. Now I know that for sure. Fuckers. Fuckers. It's fucking fuck. Oh, oh, oh. It's like you can only fuck up like once. And then you're like not going to make it. Dude, this is... Oh, oh. Give me the ball, give me the ball. Good, come on, come on, make it, make it, make it. 50 seconds, come on, we can do it. Come on, come on, no more, you can't fuck up, can't fuck up, can't fuck up. Cannot fuck up, 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 cannot, 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 cannot fuck up. Fuck! Is that it? Look, Marty! You're stuck in 1955! Guess you're gonna have to wait 
40 years for me to build you a fucking time machine, motherfucker! I gotta take a break. The fuck. I'm gonna beat, we're gonna beat this fucking game.
I'm never coming back. Never. No, I'm back. <sighs> this is Back to the Future. So, th this fucking music, for just for God sakes, for one second. <laughs> um, so just really quick, we're gonna play again. I went through the entire game the first time. This is just a recap for the new people here who are here right now. But by the way, thank you, uh, Furzanak, for subbing. Quick, quick recap. I turned the game on. I had a really good playthrough. I made it all the way to the end of the game. You get to the end. There's the DeLorean, and I, you have to be at 88 miles per hour when you cross the thing. Obviously, it makes sense. I was at like 85 miles per hour. And if you don't get it on their first try, it's game over. And it's you have to do the entire game over again. I didn't know that. Uh, I had six lives. Okay, so that's what happened. So now I tried it again. And on my second playthrough, I did not, I did not do even close to as well. I had a great playthrough, my first playthrough. My second playthrough was not very good. Uh, and everything, it was coming at me. The bees are coming at me. Biff is coming at me. They're throwing everything in the kitchen sink at me. The hula girls. The whole thing. So now, we're going to try it again from the beginning. Let's take it from the top. We're going to do it again. They said not the bees. Not the bees, anything but the bees. <sighs> really quickly, though. Let's look at the instruction manual since I do... I do have it. Sometimes I have the instruction manuals, sometimes I don't, but I do. Oh my god, this is funny. I already, I already saw something funny. I never bothered to open this. You want to see the. You know, you. <laughs> uh, I gotta show you guys. The, the There's a picture in the instruction manual, it's a drawing of. Marty in the DeLorean going back in time. Look at this drawing. There he is. There. <laughs> There's Michael J. Fox going back in time. <laughs> Looks just like him. There's actually, there's also this. This one's funny too. Dude, like, who made these fucking drawings? I want to get that art. Where's that art? You know, some people get the actual like art from Nintendo Power. I want like the I want the original art of that <laughs> behind me. I just draw it myself. Probably take about five minutes. <laughs> Shit. All right, this is Back to the Future for NES. Let's give it another shot. Here we go. <sighs> Am I sure I'm not playing as Elvis? In the game? You think I'm playing as Elvis? Well, that makes no sense. It doesn't... It looks like no period of Elvis. Not not. It doesn't look like '50s Elvis. It doesn't look like Army era Elvis, movie Elvis, jumpsuit era Elvis. Nope. That does not look anything like Elvis. Yeah, I am sure that we're not playing as Elvis. And also, Elvis did nothing with fucking bowling either. So I don't know what the hell that comment is, but yeah, no, it's not Elvis. I'm sure. Eric Stoltz, perhaps. Elvis, no. Marty McElvis. Doesn't look like the DeLorean on, a on the cover. Oh yeah, that's true too. <laughs> Who 
Did they not get the rights to the car either? Did they change the... Yo, did they change the car on the cover? You know what? Hang on a second. Hold up a second. Uh, actually, you know what? No, they they didn't change it. That's what it looks like. That's the real movie poster. For a second, I thought maybe they changed it. Anyway, that that is what the actual movie poster looks like. I thought maybe they could. I thought maybe there was some kind of rights issue with that too. Fuck. But no, that that is the actual poster. Good thought though, because it kind of looks like weird, right? It's not silver. Yep. Yeah, well, it's not silver. There's fire in front of the car. The fire is reflecting off the car, which is making it look another color. Is this Rygar? Sure. Yes. Why not? You got it, dude. Whoa. Whoa. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, Mike, who are you? What game is this? What is the internet? That's what this feels like some days. Paperboy 2.0. You know what? Paper. I like. I do like Paperboy uh, too. I did a stream of uh, Paperboy on Aaron's stream. Uh, we played. We went back and forth playing Paperboy 2 on NES. And uh, I made it to the last day, but I, I didn't beat it. But uh, that's oh, shit. That's a fun game too, though. Yeah, we did that. On, uh, we also, we did um, Bubble Bobble. We beat Bubble Bobble on her stream. The first, like, quest of it. I know there's, like, a second quest. Whatever you call it. And almost did pay for boy. So, yeah, some, sometimes I stream with Aaron on her streams. Um, if you ever, if you guys ever miss those, it's, uh, she's Aaron underscore plays. She just got partnered on Twitch, which is cool. Uh, but sometimes I'll stream with her here and there. All right, here we go. I hate this part. This part really does suck. I'm able to get through it sometimes, but it's not easy. You gotta really focus to make sure you're on the right plane with these dudes I like how the room looks like I like the jukebox and stuff it's just the way the gameplay is here with the the plane that you're on it's like you guys remember uh, the Three Stooges NES game it's the same problem that when, when you're like running down the street with Larry it's like the the plane that you're on it's hard to know, like, where to be exactly. And it kind of sucks. Okay, I just got that. So now if I hit the B button, I have a... You know what? I just used it. I had to use it immediately. 
That's my save my ass button. So if I can make it to 50. Fuck! 43. Damn it. Did I get another emote slot? Uh, I could check. That's a good question. Um, I have to look. Hang on. Uh, fuck, where would I look to see that? Give me one second. Because I actually want to know that, too. Uh... How do I check that? Oh, here it is. Uh... We need th about 260 more for another. It's, it, we're pretty far away. Um, the thing, the thing is, the, the time we got the last emote, it was so high that it's it's been really hard to get another one. So it's about 200 away to get another one, to, or 250 or something. It's hard to tell you an exact number because Twitch does this weird sort of point thing. I don't even know how to describe it, but it's not. The thing here's the thing: if somebody subscribes like tier one, it counts as like one point, right? But if somebody sub subscribes like tier two or tier three, it changes the number. So it's hard for me to like give you an exact number of, of how many away. I can only give like a rough sort of estimate, but it's about like 250 away, roughly, depending on how people sub. Because if everybody was like a tier three sub, then it would be like probably, you know, 60 tier three subs away or something like that um, to get to the next one. They make it really difficult at this point because, um, you know, the more emote slots you get, the harder it is to get the next one. So it's it's hard to get them now. It's It's been a while. I think we got one over the summer. That was the last time we got one. I'm at the point where I probably get like one emote like unlocked a year at this point, you know. I hope that sometime in 2021 we get like one one or two more emote slots unlocked. That that'd be cool. But it, it's it's hard now. But but right now we're the closest that we've been this year to getting one. So Or I just said this year, think, kind of thinking of like 20, 2020. It's, we're, it's the closest it's been since the summer, basically. That's what I meant to say. But I, I like getting the, having so many emotes. They're fun, they're fun to use. And I tell you what though, oh, yo, you know what though? Hold up, we did, you know why you're probably confused? So Twitch made a new thing though. So we do actually have more, uh, slots, sort of. Fuck. Uh, they 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 made a new thing called like bit uh, bit emotes. So there's emotes now for the bits. So if you donate bits, you get special like emotes for the bits. So there's that though. So we kind of did get more. So like the lion o one, Savage Caius just put in. That's a that's the bit emotes. So there there's that. How do you get tier two and tier three subscriptions? Uh, fuck! Uh, that you just choose that when you subscribe. Oh my god, what the fuck? Doing terrible. Maybe I just had a really like lucky first playthrough because now I'm just I've just been doing terrible since then. So this should be back to the cafe again, I think. You want a slim good body game? Me too. You know what? Uh, S-T-R-R-A. Uh, 
It, check out Aaron's video of Microsurgeon. It's an old video she did. There's a game for Intellivision that's almost like a Slim Good Body game. Believe it or not. It's not Slim Good Body, but it's like a... If, if you look at it, you'll see what I mean. It's for Intellivision. And before anybody yells at me, Mike, what do you think of the Amico? I, I, I don't know, man. Just get, just go get an Intellivision off of fucking eBay. That's it. You want to play Intellivision? Like, also, you guys know how much like I love re like retro games and old games and Atari and stuff like that. The thing with, in Intellivision, it's like, it's cool, I guess, but it's like that controller is like really bad. <laughs> it's hard to because I've tried to play in television. And it's like, it's it's hard to even play it because of that controller. Fuck! I can't get through this fucking cafe now. So did I, so have I lost lives now? Let me see how many lives I have. Right here, it'll tell me, right? No, it's not gonna tell, oh yeah, times two. I, I need to fucking start this over now. At a certain point, you're just digging through prototype tra trash. I mean, not if you're playing the games like really thoroughly, though, Mr. Gr Grumbolt. I mean, who knows? Maybe you're the world's greatest video game expert and you've played every game on every system from beginning to end, but I haven't yet, so <laughs> I haven't quite gotten that far. I know what you're saying, though. Alright, I started over. It's just, I gotta do better. <sighs> you sure hope I play Back to the Future in the next week or so. You gotta deploy for eight months. I'm playing Back to the Future right now. Where is Candy Apple? What are, you what are you talking about? You talking about me? This is Back to the Future. I don't understand. He's like, I'm gonna be gone for months. I hope he plays Back to the Future. W what the hell do you think I'm doing right here? I'm confused. <laughs> I'm very confused. <laughs> Be like, I'll just stream in like Ninja Turtles one day. Be like, this is the, my electricity's gonna get cut off. Not gonna be able to see a stream for a year. Certainly hope he plays Ninja Turtles one day. Meanwhile, I'm like playing Ninja Turtles. I like, that, I don't understand. <laughs> he said, yeah, I fucked up Guardian Legend. So you you meant to write Guardian Legend and set it back to the future? Okay. So you're saying before you get deployed, you'd like me to play Guardian Legend? Okay, that makes more sense. Uh, maybe? Fuck. I'll pro I'm probably gonna get to that at some point. Tell you what, if I don't though, it'll be on my YouTube channel and you can check it out eventually, later. Um, I mean, that's definitely one on my agenda that I'd like to do eventually, at some point. I just gotta, I gotta be like, be in the mood. That's the thing, that's a long game, from what I remember. That's the one th thing, for some, a couple of these games, it's really, uh... Holding me back with a couple, a couple games like like uh, Star Tropics. At least for me, it'd be long because I don't know what I'm doing. I also feel that way like uh, uh, Kid Icarus. I think that's also a pretty fucking long game, from what I remember. Fuck. <laughs> 
and shit. Is there a time when I stream? No. Fuck! I, liter I literally have a Moobot thing that comes up like every 20 minutes. I guess nobody reads it. It talks about my streaming schedule. I guess I'm gonna, I was thinking to take that out because it's been in there for such a long time. I figured people got the idea by now, but I guess I'm leaving it in there. So I, I have a thing that comes up like every like 30 minutes or something and it says in my chat, it's like, it explains the streaming schedule thing and it, it explains all of that. Nobody reads it. <laughs> Nobody reads it. Well, I should be surprised. People don't even know what, what game. They're like, Mike, what game are you streaming? I expect them to read a Moobot thing. I don't know, man. <laughs> I give up. Is Moobot single? Yeah, uh, stay hydrated, bot. Uh, is engaged now. But Moobot, Moobot's looking for somebody. Good old Moobot. Who's Puckman? Puckman. I don't know. Go, go watch Scott Pilgrim and you'll find out. I actually really do like that part of Scott Pilgrim. He goes to a party, and it's like nerd culture, whatever, so it's like fine, but like his like pickup line or whatever is like talking about Puckman. And she's like, great, like why, why are you fucking telling me this, you know? Because <laughs> he thinks it's like cool, like funny trivia to tell somebody. Hey, uh... Have you heard about Puckman? She's like, go away. Yeah, it's pretty funny. People would vandalize the machines and to write fuck on there, you know. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I know. We all we all know about Puckman. Thanks, Scott Pilgrim. That, that, that part's pretty funny. I do, I do like that. And I know the Scott Pilgrim game is out again. We had it, uh, Aaron had it on her PS3. We've had it all this, all this time. I should have streamed it before it got re-released, but maybe at some point we'll do a stream of it or something. hit the B button. Literally, I fucking hit the fucking B button. I swear to God. <sighs> Thank you, Phantom Limb Gamer, for the sub. For gifting a sub to Laszlo. Thank you. Oh, you mean like, uh, FFEC, you mean like a, a Moobot for it? It's not a moderator, it's like an automated bot thing. Not enough Dorito grease in the controller button. Yeah, if I eat like a full bag of Doritos, I'll get my energy back. That's what true gamers do. If you're ever struggling, see I did, I was doing great earlier. If you're ever struggling, my advice is you get yourself a big bag of Doritos and you just eat, you just start eating Doritos. You get yourself like deep into the bag to where you gotta like reach to the bottom of the bag and there's only like crumbs down there and you're like reaching around. And then you got, you got, like, you got the dust, Cheeto dust all over your face. And it's like, it was perfect to a white t-shirt. You got like the orange Cheeto dust on the white t-shirt and just like all over. It's like, oh. I want to be a true gamer. <laughs> I 
people say, Mike, how do you have the endurance to get through some of these games? Now you sh you know the secret now. Bags and bags and bags of Cheetos. And you're licking the Cheeto dust off of your fingers to where your fingertips are all orange and shit. It's the secret. And they call it, what do they call it, gamer fuel or whatever the fuck? Isn't there some like product this uh, one of these m fucking people sell? It's like gamer fuel something. You know what I'm talking about? Isn't there like commercials or some shit or some kind of product that's like gamer fuel? What, what am I thinking of? Somebody will know. Mountain Dew. Is that what they call it? Mountain Dew? Is that Mountain See, I don't drink Mountain Dew. I never liked Mountain Dew. So it must it must be false advertising. I don't I don't drink Mountain Dew. <laughs> it's it's fucking it's 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 Cheetos, guys. <laughs> it's Cheetos. Oh fuck, I hit B? Oh no. I didn't know I had a thing. Shit. They should show that on screen. I just wasted that. Hold up though, we just learned something. You keep that from the previous round? Dude, I didn't know you keep your power up from the previous round. Or, or do they start you with one? Hold up. I, I, I need to figure out this fucking thing. It's either that they start you with one and I didn't realize that, or they save it from the previous round. Does anybody know? Because if they, first of all, if they start you with one, that's amazing and I had no fucking idea. Motherfucker. I'm doing really bad. <sighs> they're just, they're talking about soda. All right. Fuck me. Thud, 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 clunk. You hate this fucking game? I'm starting to hate it. Now I'm starting to hate it. I wish I would have just fucking. So here was my plan. When I started the stream, I was like, oh, I'll play this. I got to the DeLorean, and then I have like a stack of other games. I was like, oh, I'll beat Back to the Future in like 20 minutes. And then I'm like, I got Swamp Thing, I got Adventure Island 2. I was gonna pop in another game, but now, now the game is being evil to me. So, <sighs> thank you, Pronsley, for the sub. Let's get this over with. to hear this music for the next 30 minutes. <sighs> Mike, in your opinion, what is the worst LJN game? Um, is the first X-Men game LJN? That game is like absolutely piss poor. Um, that, that one's up there. And then the uh, Bill and Ted is really fucking bad. Um, X-Men was the first one that came to my mind, if, if that one's LJN. Because, um, I mean, a lot of the LJN are, games are pretty bad, but, like, man, that X-Men one, that that's, like, not even, what even is that? That's, like, not even a fucking game. That's just, like, the biggest dog shit. It's just fucking dog shit, literally. That that might be, that might be the worst one. Jaws? No, Jaws is fine. Jaws is fine. Mm -mm. Jaws is one of the better ones. 
I don't even think Jaws is a bad game. I think Jaws is, I don't think it's a great game or anything, but I think it's fine. It's an average game. Uh, I also, by the way, I also, I fucking hate uh, Back to Future 2 on NES. That one is, uh, re really fucking terrible. That one makes me really angry. <laughs> in, in, in not a good... In not a good way. This is making me really angry right now. Oh, God, I jumped. Fuck! Fucking bug ball! I'm saying the other one makes me angry. It does, though. It makes me more angry than this one. It's a, it's a, I, that game is so aggravating. Like, I fucking hate, I hate that fucking game. Crash Dummies suck? Yeah, Crash Dummies sucks, too. Watch the bee, watch the bee. The, 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 the fucking bee is like... <sighs> oh, oh! You can shoot the skateboard. I didn't know you could shoot the skateboard like that. God damn it, oh. Mike, you left the TV on in the living room, and you're shaving in the bathroom, and all you hear is this music. Please end this game. It says Papa playing live. No. I'm going to keep it going. Actually, here you go. This is the cafe. So there's no music on this part, so you should be happy. Here's your break. This is the example of the game designers being nice, except that this is, like, one of the worst fucking parts of the game. So, like, oh, here's your break from the... I got 99 the first time I did this.
Okay, I made it. Thank you, God. Where's my next drink, motherfucker? Lorraine! what this makes me feel like. <sighs> Alright. Just eat my eat my face off with my mouth. <laughs> Imagine watching a person somehow eat eat, eat themselves to death. You, you eat your eat your own face off. Is like ripping your own skin off with your teeth. That's what I want to do right now. I'm gonna pull the flesh off my face with my mouth. <laughs> One of these days you're gonna be watching the stream. I'm gonna be like, oh! I'm gonna be so angry. I'm gonna pull the flesh off my face with my mouth. And then my face just becomes like Skeletor's face. <laughs> It'll be great. I wonder what game it'll be. Might be that Frogger game on PS2. Rip my own face off. It's fine. That's just fine. Might as well rip your own face off playing that fucking game. The hell? The hell's it matter at that point? Playing that fucking thing. <sighs> Motherfucker. for Super Nintendo. Oh, that'd be great. Love how I deliberately shot the hula hoop girl. Yeah, she's not good. She throws shit at you. She'll kill you. You're supposed to kill her. Everything's a fucking enemy. Even things you'd think you think that wouldn't be. See? She, see the fucking projectiles she's throwing? Throwing fucking... Throwing her fucking balls in my face. Roseanne for N64. Dude, there, <laughs> there should be Roseanne. It's, it's extra funny if it's for N64. Like, forget Roseanne on NES. I want Roseanne on N64. That would be amazing. Somebody please make that. It's like all those fucking polygon graphics. Like, reskin, like, fucking Banjo-Kazooie. Banjo is like... Is Roseanne running around? Like Donkey Kong 64 or something like that. Game like that. would be like Banjo Kazooie. Maybe Kazooie could be like uh, Jackie, Aunt Jackie. 
<laughs> Shit. John Good John Goodman and 64 bits. Yo, speaking of John Goodman, I was watching uh, something and there was a commercial, and there's a there's a John Goodman commercial that's like out that ha it's happening like now, where I don't know what it's an ad for, but um oh uh it's like a person's hand and the top of the person's finger is john goodman's face and it's like really john goodman like they got him to do the ad and it's something it's probably like for like a phone or something like that and john goodman's like fing the finger is like pushing buttons or something and it's like John Goodman's face. Has anybody seen that ad on television? I'm, or am I I'm probably the only fucking person that's seen this fucking ad. I don't know what it's an ad for, but if anybody sees that commercial, let me know what the hell the ad was for. And it's really weird. It's like I think I feel like that's maybe that's why they made it because it gets your attention cuz it's so weird. First of all, it's somebody's head on a finger. First of all, that's weird to begin with. And then second of all, and you're like, oh, wait a second, that's John Goodman. Has anybody seen it? You think it's for a mobile game? It's for... A gambling phone app. They're saying it's a phone app. Casino thing. Some kind of gambling phone thing, the chat saying. Okay, so other, you guys have seen it too? It's a weird fucking commercial. It's an ad for gambling app and website. Okay. Yeah, see? Anyway, I saw, I saw that. I was like, what the fuck? That is a weird <laughs> advertisement. But hey, you know what? It got my attention. Like, I remember it. So... But, you know what? I remember, like, John Goodman's head on the finger. But I don't have any idea what the fucking ad was for, specifically. Like, I couldn't name the website or app, you know? So I guess it's not that good of an ad. <laughs> that ad made you want to gamble more. Well, why wouldn't you want to gamble more if if your finger was going to become John Goodman's face? <laughs> like, what the fuck? You know what they should have had the finger doing? The, ha the hand should have moved over, and then the, the hand should have started playing the Flintstones game. <laughs> I'm sure the chat's going to come up with other things the finger could have been doing. But I was going to say, you could play the uh, Flintstones game on Super Nintendo. <laughs> you just see the finger, like, go up somebody's ass. <laughs> it's like with John Goodman's head. <laughs> I mean, an ad for, like, anal suppositories. <laughs> <laughs> His face was on the box with the finger. <laughs> oh my god. They need to do more ads with celebrity heads on fingers, as far as I'm concerned. John Goodman suppositories. This chat is the best. <laughs> John, 
John Goodman suppository. Well, hey, man, go sit, go watch that fucking commercial, and then tell me. Am I really the one that's crazy? Somebody put money into making that fucking advertisement. Like that fucking that's a real ad, man. It shit's out there. Go watch it. Wow. Oh, well. I can make it to the end of the street at least. That's all I cared about. A back to the future, more like whack to the future. Ah. Yeah. All right, here we go. More like a whack to the future, am I right? <laughs> oh shit. Johnny be good. Alright. Go, Johnny, go, go. Johnny be good. I like when you get to that stage, you have like no idea what you're supposed to fucking do. <laughs> if you haven't like probably like read the instruction manual. Good job, Marty. Almost there. All right, now now the game gets harder. It's the music I'm hoping was going on. No, instead we have this music. Of course, of course. Dude, this stage sucks. This, this, this is the stage from fucking hell. I can't even make this now. I think the clock's gonna like help with actual time. Fuck! I hate this fucking level so much. And that's gonna end anyway. I might as well just fucking end it earlier because you know I can't make it. All right. Oh. Man, this DeLorean thing, it's such bullshit with the DeLorean. I, like, I could do this whole thing and then the DeLorean part is just gonna fuck me up. It's so stupid. So stupid. 
this shit. Fuck! No! What, do you have to go through the middle there? Oh! Not like it matters, as long as I make it to the Lorian. So you only get one fucking chance anyway, so. Guess I shouldn't be that upset. I did pretty well, I thought, on that. <sighs> Guess not. Guess not. <sighs> In the fucking bowling ball! So that's one time I got hit. It's one. That's two. Now nah, I probably can't make it, right? Oh, that's three. I'm gonna fly. I wonder how many hits they allow you. There's probably too many already. So I got hit three times, so that's too much, right? Three times is too much. I wonder how many they, they allow you. Probably one, you know. We got, if I had the skateboard. They don't want to, oh, oh the, you know, most of the time you go to the bottom of the screen, the B goes off, but that, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it comes back. Maybe I can make it still, as long as I don't fuck up again. Maybe. Maybe. Probably not. I think, like, killing enemies could give you, like, an extra second or something. No, I got hit twice. And, oh, and just to slap me in the face, there's the skateboard. Right before I could get to it. Fuck you. How about give me the skateboard right now? How about that? <sighs> Catch me outside. What? Catch me outside. What does that mean? Damn! And that was the bowling ball. Oh! Pfft. Dude, everything's falling apart. And I'm not gonna make it. Now I can't make it. If they had ever, for the love of God, give me, instead of, how about, give me the fucking skateboard. Put the skateboard in the beginning of the level. Or halfway through or something. They put it like at the end. Like, hey, fuck you. You want the skateboard? Make it to the end of the level. It's like, well, if you give it to me at the end of the level, then I don't need it anymore. Because it's the end of the fucking level. Yeah, fuck you. You want the fucking skateboard? Go get it! Jesus, you know? 
You want the fucking skateboard? You want the skateboard? I'll give you the fucking skateboard. Beat the game. Then you get the skateboard. How's it gonna help me if I beat the fucking game already? There. Let's play again. <laughs> Love this game. It's such a good game. So good. I love it so much. What you can do is never lose. It's like a shmup. Never lose your upgrades. If you lose your upgrades, you're fucked. You're fucked. You're fucked. You're fucked. You're fucked. If you lose the skateboard, Fuck you. That's what they say. Thank you, Chihiro AE21, for gifting a sub to NB1989. Thank you very much. Going to lunch, don't beat it before you come back. Don't worry, I'm sure I won't. At this rate. Fuck. 
You're fucking evil. People remember the NES fondly? It's fucking sadistic. It's evil. Look, look at where they put the fucking skateboard. Case in point. Case in point. Come on. You're supposed to get that. There, that's fine. Fucker. Fucking system. God damn it. Exact, how are you supposed to get it? How, exactly. Now you got Atari sounds. Have you played Atari today? Not on the Atari VCS, that's for damn sure. Fucking thing. Fuck. It's a fucking PC. It's a PC with a fucking Atari shell. Hey, let's put the wood grain on a really cheap PC and sell it to people. Use the Atari name. Let's do that. How about this? If I want a PC, I'll go to the fucking store and buy a fucking PC. By the way, I think they do give you one. Just go buy yourself a PC. That's it. I need that fucking thing. Oh, but there's Atari games on it. There's Atari games on it. Yeah, Atar Atari on a flat screen fucking television? Just what everybody wants. I want to play my Atari on a fucking 4K flat screen LCD. That looks great. And if that's not enough, you can also watch Netflix. Because I'm sure you don't have any Netflix devices, do you? No. I don't have anything that could possibly play Netflix. Better get an Atari VCS. Use all your favorite streaming services like Disney+, Plus, Hulu, HBO Max. CBS All Access, you can do it now. That's what you remember Atari for, right? Watching Netflix? But you can also play Fortnite. And glorious 720p. Cause that's how kids wanna fucking play Fortnite in 720p. Okay. Maybe if it's really cheap, I'll buy it. Let's see how much it costs. Oh, $400? You know what I can do with $400? $400. And it's none of the same people from the Atari we know. You know, from 1982. None of that shit. No, no, it's not, it's just. It's not the same fucking people. They just buy the fucking name. Like, hey, I got an idea. Hey, Joe, I got a fucking idea. What's the idea? I'm gonna buy a really cheap fucking PC. A really shitty one. And then people are like, and then people are like, oh, but you can upgrade it. Oh, really? It's already $400. So now I gotta pay more money to upgrade it? Oh, it'll be a good computer if you upgrade it. Dude, it's already four hundred fucking dollars. Go buy yourself a fucking PS5. You fucking kidding me? Not that you can get fucking get one of those, but still, hold the money until you can get one. Unbelievable. Fucking ridiculous. That'd be fucking kidding me.
There, just made it. Oh, I th Dude, the fucking thing came out of his hand! What the fuck was that? It, oh, that was some fucking supreme bullshit. I literally the, clipped that shit. The, the drink came out of his hand. Now you know I hit the button. Saw the goddamn spray come out. You made it though. I know I made it though. But if I get more points, I can get another extra life. Not that it matters, because I'll make it to the fucking DeLorean, maybe. And then it'll send me back to the beginning anyway, so it doesn't fucking matter. So you're right. I'm wrong, actually. Congratulations, guy in chat. I'm wrong and you're right. Do you feel good about yourself? <laughs> Fuck! He's like, yes, I do feel good about myself. <laughs> I'm glad that I made your day. Fuck, fuck, fuck. These bees, man, these fucking bees. At least you can kill these bees. Oh, you know what? You know what? I was gonna say, you can't. In Jekyll and Hyde, the one thing you can kill is the bees with your cane, you poke them. That's realistic. I'm just going around poking bees. What the fuck? Wait a second, those aren't lightning bolts? No, those are... Oh, because of the sound they make? No, they're bees. You thought it was a lightning bolt? There are lightning bolts at the end of the game with the fucking DeLorean. Here, get it, get it. This morning was like today is a good day for a heart attack. Today is a good day for a heart attack. Sing, Worf, sing. A British tar is a soaring soul, as free as a mountain bird. His energetic fists must be ready to resist. Jump over that. Marty jumped over a park bench. What's the goal of this thing? To send Marty back to the future! <laughs> That's the goal. Hence the words there. Let's go, Marty. What's the goal? No, you want you want to you want you want to actually know. So, to be serious about it, to be not a dick about it, the goal in this game is actually to find the Goonies. You're actually looking for the Goonies. They tell you near the end. You open up a safe and it says, "Find the Goonies." That's what you're supposed to do. Find the Goonies. All right, here we go. Lorraine!
I think you hear a noise when you're good. Maybe. Unless that wasn't good in actual life. Sideways kaboom. With only one bucket. <laughs> well, I got 83. That makes it, right? Better fucking make it. <sighs> plap, 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 plap. No, uh, not for that. You didn't, I think you just got to get uh, 50 or more. All right, here we go. was about to run out. Okay. Way down in Louisiana, close to New Orleans. Way back up in the woods among the evergreens. Come on, let's get there. Stood a log cabin made of earth and wood. As long as you had that skateboard, man. <sighs> Interesting timer. Yeah, it's whack. Just like me. Get into the dance again. Gotta get to the dance. Oh, pff, what the hell? What the hell am I doing? Ah, damn it! Couldn't have fucked that up more. My fault.
that motherfucker can eat shit. That's the easiest of the mini games, probably. Uh, the heart one's easy too. Actually, it's just the f that first one, that cafe. It's awful. All right, now now comes the hard stages. Oh boy, here we go! Oh shit! skateboard now I can't make it right this is where they should just end the stage and be like well you're not gonna make it you don't have the time but they make I'm killing myself on purpose because I know I can't make it just end it
Do I, do I have one more or not? So much. You have to have the fucking skateboard, man, from the beginning. From like the other level. <sighs> Pretty much. Fuck, fuck. Oh my god. Please have enough time to make this. Come on, end, end. End, 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 end. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, an extra life now would be great. I still have to get through all this. That one is, I think that's the hardest stretch though. My last life though, so I'm pretty much fucked. Skateboard. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, 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 gimme. No! Oh! 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 Did you see that shit? <laughs> All right. Charge! Cause that's like that projectile is like off the fucking screen. What do you like? What do you want me to do? Fuck! This like projectile coming off the side, like not even on the screen. Shit is like not okay. Man, the game is cheating. Like honestly, like come on, like a bullet from off the screen. Like how am I supposed to anticipate? Two. Oh, I got it. All right. Come on. One chance here, or else game over. Even though I have two lives. <sighs> this is it. I make it or I don't. This is this is the biggest bullshit. Is this is this part? This is the biggest bullshit out of the whole game.
If I can just never lose the skateboard, make my life a lot easier. But these fucking projectiles that come from off the screen are bullshit. Oh, I see, by the way, I see there's a lot more people in here now. For all you guys that joined, so real, real quick, I, I, I do have to tell the new people that are here. So you get to the end of this game, just listen to this before you, you jump or you jet, listen, listen to this. You get to the end of the game where the DeLorean is. Let's say you get there and you did perfectly the whole game. You did perfect. And you have like eight lives or something. You're going down the street for the DeLorean. When you hit the thing, if you're not at 88 miles per hour, it's game over. It's worse bullshit than Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden, you get to the last guy of the game, he kills you, it sets you back to the beginning of like 6-1. This is completely game over, even if you have lives. It is horseshit. You, you just, you had, you, I had to tell people that, that we're new. It is so aggravating. And then there's this music. And then you're like, oh, I get to play it again. I guess I get to hear this fucking music again. It's like not okay. This is not okay at all. This is... It's just, it's not, it's just, it's just return. <laughs> Something in the chat says return it to Blockbuster. Yeah, exactly. Dude, if you rented this game, exactly. You take it back to the Blockbuster. And you know what? The person at Blockbuster behind the counter, they, they're they just somebody that lives in your neighborhood. They work at Blockbuster. They needed a job. But still, you take the game. You go up to the counter, you'd be like, I rented this from your store, and it is the worst piece of shit. And they're like, hey, man, it's not my, I didn't make it. it th like, I don't have anything to do with the movies or the games, man. You're like, yeah, I know, but just, I have to, you listen to me, motherfucker. You blockbuster, motherfucker. You listen to me. This fucking game is bullshit. And he's like, dude, I didn't make it. I'm like, I don't care. I bought it here. I rented it. It's your fucking responsibility. <laughs> They're yelling at the guy behind the fucking counter. He has no, poor guy, nothing to do with the fucking thing. It's your responsibility. Take responsibility. Somebody's gotta take responsibility for this fucking thing, and it's gonna be you. <laughs> this fucking kid. I don't know, sir. I, sorry, sir. Some 16-year-old kid getting his first job. You know, I just wanted to. I just wanted a job for my my bubble gum collection. Well, that's enough. Why do you have a bubble gum collection? First of all. Second of all, why are you selling this goddamn game in your fucking store? So I leave. I walk out of the store. I walk out of Blockbuster Video, and then I wait. I wait in my car. It's like 5.30 p.m. The store closes, whatever. No, Blockbuster, they'd be open later than that. Like 11 p.m. I'm like waiting in the parking lot. I was, the, I returned, I like dropped it off at like 9 a.m. I wait until like 10.30 p.m. I like, like drive, I like follow the, follow the motherfucker home. <laughs> I, he looks in his rear view window and I'm, I'm like this. Holding, holding the fucking game. <laughs> Here I come, motherfucker. Like, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I don't like, I don't want to work the Blockbuster video anymore. <laughs> oh, it's too late now, Jimmy. It's too late. The deed has been done. Fucking Jimmy. Man, fuck Jimmy. How dare he let me rent this. Jimmy! When I went to fucking rent the game, could have been like, Hey, uh, why don't 
don't want your written life force. Then I wouldn't be so angry. That's a more valid complaint. If he would have been a good employee and suggested something better. Oh, you know, that ga sir, that game's actually not very good. Everybody that rents it doesn't really seem to like it, sir. Well, why, why don't you uh, rent uh, Rambo? I rent Rambo, watch Rambo. Rambo's a good movie. Then I wouldn't have a problem with Jimmy. Fuck Jimmy. Piece of shit. He's a shitty employee. And that's why he gets followed home. <laughs> You're gonna pay, Jimmy boy. <laughs> You're gonna pay, Jimmy. <laughs> Today, Jimmy, I gotta tell you something. Oh, what's that? Today's your last day. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my bubblegum collection. <laughs> Poor fucking kid. Oh, shit. Oh, I hate the cafe. I hate it. I hate it. How's it going? Oh, it's going great. Master Shake. He's like, I left for a little bit and I came back. How's it going? It's great. <sighs> Gonna give him the John Goodman finger. It was only a summer job. It was only a summer job, sir. follow Jimmy back home, gets out of his car. I'm standing there in the middle of his lawn. He's like, oh, what are you, what are you gonna do to me? I hold up my hand. I go like this, and John Goodman's face is on my finger. I'm like, it's not what I'm gonna do to you. It's what John Goodman's gonna do to you. Jesus Christ! Poor Jimmy. He never thought it was gonna end that way. <laughs> Let's help Jimmy. <laughs> oh, no. good luck. John, John Goodman's on that one, man. You're gonna have to fight John Goodman off. Good luck. He's got backup. He's got Barney Rubble. You gotta watch out. Did I stop her? Oh my god. Great. Just fucking great. Stop throwing fucking Doritos at me, motherfucker. I'll tell you a thing or two about Doritos. You don't know shit about Doritos. Fucking one more. Your milkshake, Marty. Thanks, Betty. I'll just be here. You keep delivering food to the rest of the customers. I'll fight off this army of 1950s jocks. Thanks for the milkshake. I'll be just fine. Don't call the cops or anything. Just keep giving me vanilla milkshakes. I'll just be fending off the fucking army in your restaurant. 
good thing I'm doing this. I'm a fucking customer. You work here. Thanks for doing anything about it. Take a shotgun out. Do something. Do something. Throw a fucking chair. <laughs> the Chad army. Here they come. All, all this work is going to be for nothing. Because it all comes down to that fucking final level. They might as well just have you play the final level, and that could be the whole game. Just go down the street, and if you make it, you make it. If you don't, you don't. Fuck, forget the rest of the game. It's all fucking pointless. The whole fucking game is pointless. Because of that last level. <sighs> Imagine being a kid renting this thing. I made it all the way to the DeLorean. But I didn't beat it. Guess you gotta rent it again, don't you, Jimmy? Fuckers. Everybody's named Jimmy in my world, apparently. God, this is not easy. Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da. -ba -da -ba -da. Bimmy. Bimmy. Yes, that's right. The whole game is pointless because it sucks. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Thank you, Head, for the bits. Appreciate that. Thank you, Retro Crypt Gaming. Yeah, my favorite part about this game is the ray tracing, personally. I mean, mostly it's a shitty game, but I think LJN, LJN did do a great job with the ray tracing in this game. Absolutely. Who's my favorite person named Biff? Biff Tannen. Mad Dog. Tracing's powered by the flux capacitor. That is correct. All right, here we go. I gotta focus on this. <sighs> Fuck me. miles per hour. Or... All right. <sighs> oh. Oh. 
Is she shitting at Marty? Yeah. Those are all pieces of shit. I need to not lose the skateboard. That's what I need. I just, I really need it for that, the last couple stages. If I lose it here, not big a deal, but in this last couple, it's like, oh, those are hard. <sighs> After the dance. When are we gonna get the LJN Classic Collection? Yeah, a console with a, with a rainbow on it. Street level should have Strickland chasing you around. <laughs> That'd be funny. Here, yeah, exactly. Where's he? There's a lot of things they could have done with this. <laughs> Come on! Like went in a curve. Oh. It's like fucking heat seeking? <laughs> like, I swear to God. All those heat seeking softballs they had in the 1950s. be a good thing, I think. <sighs> this is like a 15 minute game stretch into 12 hours to complete. If it wasn't for the stupid DeLorean thing at the end, it w this wouldn't be a har very, like that hard of a game. The DeLorean thing makes it ridiculous. Because if you, if you happen to fuck that up, you gotta play the whole fucking game over. It's so st stupid. It's like the only thing. It's like, I could have fucking beat this 10 times over now. Because those damn lightning bolts. Okay. 
Russian roulette. All right, do I have the skateboard? I hope I have the skateboard. I gotta really fucking do this. Please, God, please, God, please, 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 please. Oh, God, okay, go, come on, come on, come on. All right, at least I got through that. That one's really hard. I mean, the other ones coming up are hard, but I have a bowling ball. Okay, so I, I, I think I can make it. Put a skateboard early, please, please. Okay, okay, they did. Oh my god. Get it! No! <laughs> Come on! Come on! There's like one more, right? Oh, oh no, this is it. Oh god. <laughs> I get one chance or game over. Come on, please, please, please. Be be nice with the lightning bolts, please.
idiots! <laughs> come on! Come on! 84? Thanks, Head Circus Art. <sighs> All right. This music, this music. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is the work of the devil. This is the work of the fucking devil. I, okay. I'm, I'm taking a break.
Hello, and welcome to Mike Mate Live. This is where we do very calm, streams where cats meow <laughs> and also very just calm <laughs> calm calm streams where we play back to the future which is an excellent excellent game people call me the uh, the Bob Ross of, of gaming because I like to keep things chill, calm, cool, and collected. That's what we do here. Just like Arcus. Just like the same, the same thing. It's the same thing. Uh, Chad3518 subbed. Is he the same Chad from the game? I was getting attacked by a bunch of chads. All right. This is Back to the Future for NES. I can't do this. I can't. I can't. All right. This is Back to the Future for NES. Here we go. Let's go through it. It's going to be great. It's going to be a fun time. Here we go. Back to the Future, friend, yes. Oh boy. Here we are in Hill Valley. It's 1955. And Marty's gotta make it back to the future. In this game, you collect clocks. You avoid bees. Lots and lots of bees, just like the movie just like the movie. attempt or fourth fourth or fifth attempt getting through the whole game the last level is stupid as shit stupid as shit Mike turn off the music and play some other tunes dude you know don't you think part of the challenge here is dealing with the music too See, if you turn the music off completely or put on other music, I think that that's, uh, I almost feel like that's cheating with this game, because I feel like this music is mental torture. Honestly, this is, it, it's, it's literally torture. So if you play with the music on, it almost makes it an entirely different and, and more difficult game, because you want to turn it off. You want to turn that music off so badly. But by keeping the music on the way they intended, it, it's making it much more difficult. I would honestly say that playing this game with the music turned on is more difficult because <laughs> you have to listen to this over and over this one loop it's the only time the music changes when it's the Johnny Be Good fucking thing like I think that's it I think that I think that might be it
The music plays a big part in fucking you up. I think it does. Cause it's it's like literally. I gotta tell you like something like honest. So when I took a break right now, I laid down on my bed for a couple minutes because I actually have a throbbing fucking headache from this from this game. I, like no, I'm not kidding. I have, a, I have a throbbing headache, but I came back. Took some Tylenol. And we're gonna still do this, and I still have the music on. I'm dedicated. I'm dedicated. You know, sometimes you know, I'll be playing. I'll be playing games. I'll get like hand pain, arm pain, especially if I'm doing like something with a mouse. All kinds of pain. That's fine. We just keep going. I still remember a long time ago when I put on that, um, what was that thing called? The, Vic the Victor Max Stuntmaster? Yeah, anybody remember that? I remember putting that on, and I had that fucking thing on my head for like, ooh, um, for like three seconds. And literally, it looked like hurt my fucking eyeballs. That thing should have fucking been an illegal. Like, something was fucked up with that thing. Alright, she gave me another one. You know, wanna know what game fucking hurts too? What it hurts me at least? Fucking Marble Madness fucking kills my hand. But I'll tell you what, you, you actually, you know what the most fucking pain ever was with trying to play a video game for me was that fucking getting over it game dude that fucking hurt my arm so badly trying to fucking play that game that was like literally fucking just pain getting over it with Bennett Foddy or whatever the fuck that game is that was fucking that's a painful fucking game. At least at least for me. You have to do these like motions with the fucking mouse that are like Oh, and I thought of another one that's fucking painful. Dude fucking um uh the 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 Wii monkey ball where you're twisting your arm like this with the fucking Wii mote. That should be fucking illegal. And then, you know what they did? Out of all things to remake Mon Monkey Ball 1 and 2 are like classic, some of the best games ever ma made. They remake, they re-released that one like a year ago or whatever. Out of all the Monkey Ball games to re-release, let's re-release the really, the worst one. Let's re-release that one. I saw them tweet about that too the other day. They're like, oh, don't forget, Monkey Ball, like fucking Banana Blitz or whatever, remaster. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna remaster the fucking game that like ruined the fucking series? Actually, it was ruined before that, because they did, uh, there was another one called Monkey Ball Adventure that also fucking sucked. It's when they started to stray away from the formula and make it like fucking dog shit. But Monkey Ball Adventure wasn't as bad as that fucking Banana Blitz. That, the fuck, piece of shit game. Fuck that game. Banana Blitz is like up there. Banana Blitz and that fucking Contra Rogue Core. Dude, fuck those games. You wanna talk about bad fucking games? Like, just offensively, offensively bad. Monkey Ball Banana Blitz, Contra Rogue Core. Like it's one like this this game this is this is bad. Actually, you know what? Honestly, this is offensive too. Because Back to the Future is such a good movie. 
you know? They should have made a better game than this. That said, we're lucky we got a game of it, unlike fucking He-Man or, tra you know, Transformers or whatever. And I know there's the Famicom game, but that's dog shit. That doesn't even count. But yeah, this, this game is a, a fucking offensive. Like, this music will drive a fucking person insane. It's driving me insane right now. I had to take medication. I took some fucking Tylenol. Because it's giving me a fucking headache. Fuck. Every copy of Back to the Future comes with one bottle of Tylenol. Because our fucking soundtrack is offensively horrible. with a pillow to scream into. It should. It should come with a pillow <sighs> with a clock on it or something. No, it should be a menorah pillow. Biff is, Biff is on the side laughing and it's just a big pile of menorah and you shove your face into it. Every copy of Back to the Future for NES comes with a pillow covered in menorah. Pretty much. Lord. You think I should play some Tom and Jerry? It's decently difficult. The, the NES game? I played a little bit. Uh, you know, I, I went through all the NES games, the licensed ones. It, it was like, I think I didn't hate it, I think, but I didn't like, like it. It's like, it was like, all right, I think. From what I remember. I'll have to try it again. I, I, might, I might play that one sometime. Remember that fucking Jetsons game? Dude, oh my god. That was like the stream from hell. Oh, oh no! Fuck, this is the stream from hell. So I just lost that, right? Yep, I gotta redo that. Great. <sighs> Shit. Fuck. And that right there, once again, that's how the DeLorean thing should should act. You know, if you die, you go you go back a little bit and try again. Because you still have more as long as you have more lives. If you ran out of lives, I understand the fucking game over. Sorry, I sound I sound like a bro broken record. I know, but it's just it's absolutely just completely awful. The soundtrack was recorded on an actual broken record. Oh, yo, you know how they release vinyls of NES games? Like, I sh I've shown you guys the Snake Rattle and Roll one. What if they released the Back to Future NES game on vinyl? <laughs> they should fucking do that. Oh my god.
and Godzilla too. Rocky and Bullwinkle NES vinyl soundtrack. Sancho. Let me see what you guys are saying real quick. You'd make an LP and have the music loop for the entire length of the record? Exactly. You wouldn't be able to tell if the record was skipping. Great monitor. Skateboard. Just a matter of time before there's a Wayne's World 2. Do you mean 3? You know there was Wayne's World 2. Pretty soon they're gonna make a sequel to Star Wars. Wonder if they'll ever follow up Star Trek the motion picture with anything. talk about Wayne's World 2. What about, uh, uh, what's his fucking name? Rip Taylor. Doesn't Rip Taylor have a cameo in that? He's throwing his confetti, the canoe and shit. <laughs> Mike Myers took the Shrek money and ran. I don't blame him. He's like, yeah, I'm really rich now because Shrek. Bye. <laughs> See ya. Like, well, what about Austin Powers 4? He's like, no. <laughs> nope. Just keep sending those Shrek checks. I'm good. Actually, though, they're doing like a Super Bowl uh, Wayne's World ad, aren't they? Uh, like, Wayne, Wayne and Garth are going to do some kind of Super Bowl ad. By the way, that's not, not like the first time they come back. They like every one every several years they come back and do like an SNL skit. Not the first time they've done that. But apparently there's gonna be like a Super Bowl commercial. I heard a rumor. I don't know if that's true, but Oh man. Oh, 
What? Come on. There's fucking shit in the road. Is the picture gonna be that faded on the next one? <sighs> Showing. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, I'm gonna have to start the next thing without a. <sighs> Skateboard. Sucks. Hey, even if I it doesn't matter. Even if I make it, it's like fucking DeLorean shit. What do I think of Star Trek Deep Space Nine? Um, I like Star Trek. Star Trek Deep Space Nine is a good show. I don't know. Um, it's very entertaining. I like Rom and Chief O'Brien on there. I'll take another rat did you know? <laughs> oh, come on. Just make it, just make it. Wreck did you know? DS9 was great, but the last season sucked. Yeah, um, for the most part, yeah. Season six was like, real good. All the Dominion stuff is like, really good. It's just all that like, the shit with like the wormhole aliens and like the Bajorans and all that, like I don't like any of that stuff. is good. It is. It's a very good game. I streamed that before. I did an uh, original series mod of it. It was cool. It's a good game. <sighs> I hit the fucking like manhole. Seriously. Thinking so much about the bees and shit, you forget about like the things like the trash cans and stuff, like the basic things.
Just shoot me from off screen. Such fucking bullshit. Now, now I can't make it anyway, so this is all a big fucking waste of time. You know that, right? Can you give me a fucking skateboard? Give me a skateboard. Come on. Anytime. Oh, what? You don't want to? That's what I kind of figured. There it is. That's when they give you it, give it to you. <sighs> Fucking sucks. Is that it? Are we on the DeLorean? <sighs> Please don't be another. Oh my god. Projectiles like curve and shit. It's like, what is this fucking? fucking Gradius or some shit, you know? It's like, give me a break. It's fucking Back to the Future game. What do, what do they fucking expect? People that go see Back to the Future are like, just like casual movie fans, you know? Like, anyway. Then they fucking give you this. It's like, what the fuck? Where are they fucking smoking? Marty. Isn't this just RNG bullshit? Yeah, it's just like, I can't get lucky with these fucking lightning bolts. Tough luck, Marty. Hey, Marty. Yeah? Fuck you. That's what the name of this fucking game should be. Hey, Marty. Hey, Marty, fuck you for the NES. Fuck this music. You're telling me that? Yeah, you think? It is just...
So you get one shot or you're stuck in 1955? Yep. That's the deal. It is horse shit for sure. <sighs> I just need, it's just the entire game comes down to just having a good run at that street with the lightning bolts. That's the entire game. The rest of it is all pointless, nothing. It's just nothing, it, no, none of this matters. Collect the clock, doesn't matter. None of this matters. Because of the way they made the fucking ending. It's so stupid. It's such a bad... And you know what sucks, too? Like, the DeLorean is, like, the cool thing about Back to the Future. You know, it's like the time machine. And, you know, it's, and it's like, you finally get to the part with the car and the DeLorean and all that, and you're like, oh, this is going to be awesome, you know? And then it's the worst part. They make it horrible. It's like the way they do the lightning bolts and whatever. That's first of all, that's really annoying because the lightning bolts come down and they get in the way of your fucking car and then they slow you down and you're like, oh, that's annoying, you know. And then, you know, and then the game ends. And it's like, well, that sucks. It's like, well, the car, you know, it was like your car getting slowed down constantly is annoying. And then they, then the whole fucking game is over. Everything that you worked for means nothing because they shot 18,000 fucking lightning bolts all over the street they can't that you can like not really get around barely and it's like So why do you have to dodge the lightning? I thought you needed the energy to hit 89 miles per hour. Uh, you know what though? Um, on that point, it has to hit the lightning rod part of the car. Here's where I'm gonna get geeky to go into that, to go into the right part of the DeLorean, I guess. It can't just, like, hit the car, I guess. Although, no, that's bullshit, too, because at the end of Black Back to the Future 2, a lightning bolt just hits the fucking DeLorean, and then it, like, zips into the fuck, you know. So, yeah, it's bu this bullshit. You're right. I was trying to, like, give it the benefit of the doubt, but, yeah. Why even have the lightning ro rod thing on the top of the car if... If the fucking lightning bolt can just hit the fucking DeLorean from the fucking sky anyway, the way they do in Back to the Future, that doesn't even make sense. That's like a fucking mistake they did. And then this part's an Atari game. So for anybody that plays this and has trouble with this part, because this part is annoying, they give you one free thing to knock down all the guys by hitting the B button. And then every time she delivers another drink, see I just used it there, um, you get another you get another one. But you want to get as many points as possible on this because 
you can get the extra life. But I got over 50. As long as you get 50, you get to go to the next area. So that's how that shit works. And there's the move out. It's on the car because it attracts lightning. The lightning, it's not so important where the lightning hits. Maybe so. I don't know, man. I think if you jump at the intersection at the end of each street level, you get a bonus points for timing it right. Oh yeah. I don't know where at the inter I don't know where exactly you mean, but okay. If you stay back on the screen too, like closer towards the bottom of the screen, most of the uh, the bees will go off screen, but sometimes they fly, fly around, so it's like you gotta be, you gotta be careful. Sometimes they will come back. The bigger bullshit, though, is the enemies when they go off the screen and then they, they're still throwing projectiles at you. That's fucking stupid. Once they're off the screen, don't have them throw projectiles at you. I like that you notice that half shriek X, I have it. At the end of any given level, the game will freeze as your points are counted and you are brought to the next stage. However, if you make your character jump in the air before the game freezes, you score extra points. Okay, before the game freezes? So basically, I gotta be in the air. Okay. Be in the air when it ends, basically. Okay. That's good to know, thank you. Not that I really care about score, but I kind of do, because I want the extra lives if I can get them, so. And yeah, while the lives aren't like really that important, because once you get to the DeLorean, that kind of throws that out the window anyway. I still have to make it to the DeLorean, so I do want the lives. The more lives I have, the better chance I have to make it to the stage, to the final stage. Fuck. 47. <sighs> that is a fucking slap in the face. You have to get 50. Ugh. That 
sucked. Well, I'm just, oh, did I get some points? I was jumping a little bit. <laughs> I kind of got some extra points there, right? Is that it? I wonder if I was jump higher in the air, if I would get more. I'll try that from now on. Riveting gameplay, right? <sighs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Lorraine. <laughs> take, a, take a hint already. <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly. Oh my god, I'm laughing way too hard at that. Now I know I'm losing my fucking mind. Oh my god. Like kiss, 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 kiss. It's like, all right, not interested. Can you tell? Can you fucking tell? Lorraine is like batshit crazy. You will love me, Marty. You will love me. It's like Lola Bunny. It's like how Lola Bunny feels about Bugs Bunny. Bugs is like, not really, don't, don't really care. She's like, oh, you care, Bugs, oh, you care. Yeah, not really interested, Lola. Thank you, Furzanak. Fers Marty is building up his clock collection in this game. One of the other goals. That's right. Doc, I have, I have 11,000 clocks now. He's shaggy from Scooby-Doo now. Hey, Doc, old buddy, old pal, I can really have a new clock right now. Oh, I forgot to jump. Fuck. Zoinks! <laughs> Thank you, Grievous Green, for subbing for two months. Appreciate it. Thank you, Grievous Green, and all you guys that have subbed. By the way, if I missed anybody that subbed, sorry. I've been very, like, focused on trying to do this crap. Thank you guys for the subs. <sighs> subbing for this riveting awesome content here people people are subbing to like I like to think that they're subbing to hear this music <laughs> like we want to hear more music I find out that you're all fucking maniacs <laughs> 
We like the music, Mike. Do more of this. Simulating hell. I'm handling the intricacies of time travel with ease. Thank you very much, I appreciate the compliment. What would happen if Marty farted on his mom? Um, what would happen if Marty farted on his mom? I don't know, man. Oh, oh come on. Space Invaders 91. Space Invaders 91. I, uh, Space Invaders... Or, I, I, Galaga 90... 98. Or, Galaga 88, I mean to say. And the... Turbo Graphics or PC Engine or whatever. Space Invaders 91. Is that a thing? I don't even know if I have that. Space Invaders should be like Madden. There should be a new, just a new one every every year. Space Invaders 03. Space Invaders. Oh, there was the fucking board right there. That sucks. Space Invaders 04. Space Invaders 05. the scene in the movie, uh, in the second one, where there's two, the two Martys, and he's like climbing on top of the thing and all that. Jenna, be good. What's my favorite part of this game? Not the music. Um, like a real answer, what's my favorite part? Uh, probably the Johnny Be Good part because they're, it's actual different music and, and I don't hate doing that part. The Johnny Be Good part, the thing I just did, honestly. Out of those different mini game things, like that's the one I hate the least. You know, there's actual different music. It's not just it's not just dead silence. You know, you get to hear something else for a second. <laughs> so probably that. If I had to pick something. Nice. Nice. That was good. <sighs> Thank you, Master Snow Shredder, for gifting a sub to Incognius. Thank you very much.
There's too many fucking bees. It's like every one, every two seconds, there's another fucking bee. Stupid. Alright, as long as I got the skateboard. And thank you, Master Snow Shredder, for gifting a sub to Mana Spurt. Thank you very much. Again. Sorry about the horrible music today, guys. But you know what? It's it's almost it's, you're, you're experiencing the the pain with me. It brings us that much closer together. Isn't that sweet? Isn't that a sweet sentiment? It's like we're both being stabbed in the ears with an icicle pick. How do I get the signal to look so good? It looks so clear. Uh, so I have a modded NES. It's uh, RGB with a SCART. And SCART goes into G SCART that goes into Frame Meister. Some people use OSSC. Uh, so yeah, it's not AV, it's RGB. That's why it looks good. You are welcome. Fucking shit. <sighs> See? Remember what I said earlier about how sometimes the fucking bees come back even if you're near the bottom? There you go. Look at that. So my height was more, I got more points. Cool tip, didn't know about that. Oh, this is it. Please, God, give me a good run. The thing is like, it's like where the lightning bolts fall. I feel like it's just RNG. It's just random. Like you gotta get lucky. I don't think they're the same every time. I think they're in different spots. at the speed. I was just looking at the fucking lightning bolts. There it is. <laughs> when I looked and I saw 88, my heart like came out of my fucking chest. And that's it. That, I, I didn't even get a chance to read the screen. What did it say? I didn't, I didn't hit a button. What did it say? Oh, fuck. I didn't, I didn't miss it. Did anybody catch what that said? Thank you, Casey Jones. What the hell? I was gonna read that. All I saw was, it said congratulations, but I didn't see, fuck. Well, I'm gonna look it up now online because I wanted to read that. All, all that work I just did. And they didn't even let me read the fucking ending? I'm gonna look it up because I wanna know. All, all that, I was sitting here and play this the whole fucking time and I didn't get to see the fucking screen. Here, it said, congratulations, Marty, you made it back. All your time travel is now behind you. Maybe, that's what it said. Ugh. I was in such shock over actually doing it that time. Well, there you go, that's Back to the Future on, it, on the NES. Now I can turn this fucking music down. Oh, man.
What a piece of shit ending. Yeah, one... Man... It was one screen that goes by really quick, and that's all it says. That, like, they didn't even, like, draw, like, anything. Like, do you... How about this? There's nowhere... Nowhere do you see, like, Doc Brown or anything. Do you think, like, Doc Brown's face could have came on screen? And it would have... You know, just his face, and he was saying, like, Marty! Or something, or, like... Nothing, just nothing. Oh, that's cool, Trek reviewer. I always like my Star Trek tr trivia. Thank you. The music's still in your head. It's still in my head, too. I feel like I... I feel like I've been tortured. It's just, it's it, me too. How, how many of you guys right now is the song still going in your head? How could it not be? Dude, that was horrible. Okay, so you know sometimes so I go back and I beat I play these games and I go back and then sometimes I'm like this one's not so bad, that one's not so bad, you know. This one's bad, this one's not, or whatever. So I went back and I beat Top Gun. I don't think Top Gun's all that bad. It's not great, but it's it's not horrible. Mylon Secret Castle actually I think is are is is relatively alright. There's a lot of positive things about Mylon Secret Castle, honestly. There's there's bad things, but um Ninja Turtles. I I think Ninja Turtles is a great game, honestly. There's a couple there's a couple stupid things, but like it's mostly a great game. Um, uh, Karate Kid does get a little annoying with the when you're on the second stage and with the like the rain falling falling and all that. So that 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 is a little annoying. But I kind but I kind of like Karate Kid. I don't hate Karate Kid. Um, but man, the certain ones really deserve it. Like Back to the Future, really. This game sucks. This game really does suck. Um, I uh, so after you know after going through it, because sometimes like after I fin like finally beat some of these, I'm like okay, like I can see where they're going and this and that, and not this one. This one sucks. Mm -mm. Fuck it. <laughs> that one fucking sucks for sure. It's like I'm like double confirming, you know. <laughs> Like oh, it sucks. And I, you know what I have to say? I have a Roger Rabbit shirt on right now. Roger Rabbit, I mostly like that game, except for Judge Doom. Actually, like the whole game, I'm pretty much fine with. I wish they would have put some more licensed characters in it, because when you watch the movie, you know, like Daffy Duck's in there and Bugs Bunny and stuff. So I wish there was. I wish they would have like licensed out as you're going through Toontown and stuff like that. But like, I don't hate that game. But the Judge Doom fight is bullshit. That, like, ruins the fucking game. Ugh. Will I st stream the DS or or the console? The DS or the console? I don't know what you mean by the DS or the console, but is it too small for my hands? Uh, I mean, depends what game it is. Like, if I play, like, like Contra 4... Then yeah, like it really kills my hands to play that because it's like very action oriented. Uh, but if I played like, I like to play uh, the Advance Wars games. Those don't hurt my hands because it's it's not like intense action. Um, like if I were to play like an like an RPG or something, I'd be like fine. But yeah, stuff that's like int it's so depend. Basically, what I'm saying to you is it dep depends what the game is. Uh, but yeah, a lot of times. Uh, playing handhelds do hurt my hands because they're like too fucking small. Thank you, PD Doughboy, for the sub. I appreciate that. Now you can beat Godzilla NES with Mothra only. I don't even know how you'd do that, um, but I don't ever want to play Godzilla on NES again. Oh, yeah, and then I went through Godzilla on NES. That's like mostly pretty bad, too. Uh, that one has nice graphics. <laughs> Um, and it has a lot of the characters. One thing I can say for that Godzilla game is it ha it did a good job putting a lot of the characters in there. Whereas this one, where's Doc Brown? You know? Where's Strickland? And, like, uh, it's just, like, 
there's so much more they could have done with with this. Um, but yeah, the Godzilla Godzilla it has like really obscure characters, you know, and you get Ghidorah. They save it for the end. They did they did a good job with the characters, but the the game is just way too long. If they would have condensed the Godzilla game and made it half as long as it is, um, and um, it like it does. See, the thing is, the, the game is so long that by the time you get to new music, you've listened to the same music for such a long time, you think that the game only has one soundtrack, but it does have more music. So if they would have like made it half as long a fucking game. Um, then it would have been better, but so I don't know. It but basically what I'm saying is the Godzilla game has positive and, and negatives. This game is like almost entirely negative. I don't have much good to say about this game. <laughs> I mean, I love Back to the Future. It's such a shame. Where else would you see Gizora? <laughs> Who's my favorite He-Man character? Uh, fuck, I don't know. There's so many. I don't know, man. Uh, Stinkor. I don't know. Buzz Off. I don't know. Web Store. I'm just going to name all the He-Man characters now. Super Pitfall on NES. So Super Pitfall was one of the ones... I beat that game and recorded the gameplay for the nerd video... Um, I haven't played it since then. So I did beat that game once. I used a guide. Because how anybody could figure that game out without a guide, I don't know. Some of the shit in that is so ridiculous. You have to... The ending of that... There, well, there's several things. There's one part where you have to jump into a bird to like warp you to another area. Where the whole game... Birds like attack you. So... Imagine this. If let, let's say you don't know anything about Super Pitfall. Imagine you're playing Super Mario Brothers. And you're playing Super Mario Brothers and like a Goomba is walking along the ground and you're like, "Okay, the Goomba hits you and he kill and he hurts you and he kills you." And you're like, "Okay, well, I'm never going to touch a Goomba again. I'm going to make sure to bounce on their heads the whole rest of the game." So you go and you're bouncing on the heads and you're killing the Goombas and you're just playing Mario Brothers. But then, what if the only way you could beat the game was, like, on level 6-2 or something. There's a specific Goomba that you have to jump into, which takes you to, like, level, you know, 6-3 six, six, or whatever. It takes you to the next part that you got to get to. How would you ever know to do that un unless you did it by, like, accident? And there's just one specific one. Like, that's the kind of shit that Super Pitfall does. And that that game is fucking terrible. It, like it's be it's like somebody said somebody in the chat just said cryptic fixed position said cryptic. It's beyond cryptic. There's cryptic, and then there's like bullshit. It's bull. It's just bullshit. You know. Anyway, all right, guys. That's Back to the Future. That's all I can do. Uh, I, was, I was gonna play something else, but I expected that to beat that quicker. We'll play something else next time. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't ever play this game. You probably already knew that, but there's no need to ever play that game. Thank you very much for watching, guys. That is just the absolute worst. That's the absolute worst. I'm out of here. Thanks, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.